Absolutely. You know, I, lo- I love the concept of your podcast. I mean, it's, uh, you know, whether it's in a workplace or whether it's in a community, whether it's in a school, whether it's in um, your place of worship, there is, you know, kind of two distinct populations. There's the mech and there's the yeah. Um, and organizations, what I find, um, they lean so heavily on the people who, who, are, who have that attitude of yeah. Um, you know, you kind of have some of those meh that work for you. you know, I'm thinking particularly, I do a lot of work with the uh, project management um, and they talk about how um, they, they acquire people into their teams and they sometimes get the opportunity to choose people for their teams. Um, and that, you know, that choice often you, you choose in those people who are like, yeah, I love what we're doing. This is exciting. You know, I'm, I'm engaged by the process. I'm engaged by the product that we're working on. I'm engaged in, in the work. Um, and then you have the people who are kind of, you know, punching the clock, you know, nine to five, um, whatever, how do I get out? How do I um, put myself, how do I go to a conference not to learn, but in order to escape from the office for four days? Right. Uh, you know, that's kind of the meh and the yeah. So I, t- I totally get what you get. Into. So you do find that mix, but, but in, in a lot of organizations, but I mm-hmm. find there's a general trend that an organization is really overall meh or yeah. overall yeah. And if you've got a meh organization, someone comes in dynamic, energized, either they leave or they get it beaten out of them before too long, don't they? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you, the organizations are doing exactly that. So, um, you know, picking your job is as much picking the culture. I mean, we look at the, the rate of speed that uh, the young people, the millennials are, are leaving out of organizations. You know, by the time you're 26, you've been in seven different organizations. You know, you start looking at stats like that, you know, is it the culture or is it the, you know, the culture of the millennial or is it the cultures that they're working into? Um, and, I, and I think it's the cultures that they're working into. I read um, DreamWorks, the guys that make uh, movies and that kind of stuff. They they have a 96% retention rate um, and they do so with one quarter of their population being 30 or under. Um, and they've done a lot of things to be able to, to, to create that. Yeah. So that people want to be there. They've basically taken like, um, remember back in the old days, I call it total quality management, TQM. Yeah. I mean, so much money you could spend and uh, you could go and, uh, you know, take a course or whatever, but they've done it so that they actually bring the courses into the workplace during the workday. Um, so people are taking karate or jiu-jitsu or photography or uh, things that are of interest and, and it's helping to, to make a more dynamic workforce um, and an engaged workforce that doesn't want to go anywhere. 